Happy! Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Mean Claw, and we're gonna do hacks today. I'm here with a bunch of Claw Clan. In fact, that's my little niece Megan right there beside me. Hi, Maggie. And we are going to be showing some build hacks today, the very basic build hacks that you guys will want. I'm gonna start out easy and then we'll build up further and further, okay? And you'll see um We've got, oh yay, sub to Mrs. Main Claw. Thank you. You guys, if you haven't hit that uh, subscribe button, please do, and the notification bell. I would really love that. Right now, I'm taking these lockers that are $10 a pop. I'm actually doubling them up to give a little bit of thickness. Um, and then I am creating another set of stairs. So if you watch my other video on various sets of stairs, you can use a lot of these items to make stairs. And lockers is one of the easiest ways. And it's not too expensive. So uh, it really, I enjoy using the lockers. But I will say they're a little bit tricky unless you use the wall. What's happening is right now, against the wall, they're just naturally lining up on their side, so it's perfect. But if you don't use the wall, you will have to use barriers and, and floor plates and that sort of a thing. So, um, you know, then it's a little bit trickier. But right now, if you're looking for just basic building and you wanna create that second story, put the stairs up against the wall, use the lockers, and it really does work. And you can color them. Okay, it is so cool. Yes, you are right. So it really helps. And he, I'm going to start speeding up the video so that you guys can uh, see this a lot quicker because there's a lot to show you today. So let me put this barrier on. As you notice, I'm flipping in on the walls and it, it's and you fall through very easily. So it's always helpful to have the barrier underneath and then I put this floor plate. Okay, and I've made that floor plate white. Let me say that floor plates are very important. They must be against something. They can't be on their own, but they are very handy and helpful. That's why you first lay that barrier down and then you put a floor plate over it so that it is bigger and brighter. And now I'm just gonna go through here and make this quick rainbow because I mean, that makes sense. I am, as some people are calling me now, the rainbow queen, which I really do love the fact that I am so connected with rainbows and everybody knows that about me so it's great. Now let's talk about making walls. So here I've used the actual Hollywood house wall to put the barrier but you don't need to but I've used the corners so that I only have to make these two barriers and now I can put in a nice door and I can create a little room within a room. I can create this little house so if you're wanting to learn to know how to build walls, well, you just use the barriers, all right? And if you need them to be taller, um, or in this case, I use bricks because there's this little gap that we needed to cover. So you put the bricks in against a barrier. I put that brown barrier up. I'm now changing the colors of those bricks, and then I'm going to move that barrier out. It is just there to set those bricks. Oh my gosh, I still have a hole. What am I going to do? Easy peasy. We'll get this door adjusted change it a perfect color and we'll move that barrier again and we'll put in some more bricks now here I'll need to double up the bricks and as long as you move them over they will overlay enough like first right here I'm gonna tr I try to get it to work and it's not going to okay it doesn't go in far enough so I have to move that brick over a little bit more and then I move it in and now we have a perfect fit voila we need um, something decorative let's add a little window heart windows are a lot of fun and you can change the colors I didn't on this time and a hello sign so on the inside now I'm not going to show you what you can do but obviously use your imagination I'll put a little light up but you guys can build anything here and it's dancing time guys <laughs> you can put anything you want into that little room okay so we've talked about stairs again we've talked about the walls now let's talk about making some walkway areas First of all, do you see I've got this brown barrier on? Why? Because when you're working in the editing mode, if you accidentally click on the barrier, you fall through. If you, however, have a barrier on top of a barrier, then it only has you fall one little, little bit down, and I love that, thankfully. So I always try because it's very frustrating and it's worth the $6, $9, whatever. It's not that big of a deal to have that extra barrier there. Otherwise, you just go nuts trying to 
you know, trying not to fall and accidentally hitting it. So now let's look at this walkway. So I do use the wall here as a help to lay that barrier down. But what's going to happen is, guys, I'm not going to have the wall all the way across, okay? So um, I'm going to have to learn how to make a walkway, okay, a flooring um, without walls. So I use the barrier. I put it on the very far edge, and then I get another barrier, and I twist it. And I put it just as high up as I possibly can until it moves on me. And then I set down a floor plate, right? And that thick floor plate is the same thickness as the barrier. And I just put it right there on top. Then I need another barrier to continue on and have this walkway go across, okay? I put another little barrier down. Now I'm going to get that big floor plate again. And I realize it's not quite centered right, so I move the other floor plate over. It's another reason to keep those barriers in place, guys. Once you move the barriers, it is hard to get them back. So when you're making that flooring, go ahead and just make sure those barriers stay down for you for a while. Right here, I'm putting up a nice little, um, you know, what do you call it, a banister or whatever to keep people from falling. And while I'm standing there, if I did not have that barrier down, underneath the floor plate, odds are I'd be falling through. In fact, right there I would have fallen through a million times because it's just something about how Adopt Me works. You'll accidentally click on the flooring and then you fall through. But now let's move these barriers out. It's a little bit risky, but I want to just go ahead and do that. And let me show you another trick. Maybe you don't want a flat flooring. Maybe you want it on a diagonal. So you can use the wall to then turn that barrier on a little diagonal. In my Millionaire Mansion, I actually make this cool little obstacle course where uh, the ball goes down and uh, falls into the water. So that is one way to do it, right, is by having these little diagonal walls. So probably not something I would normally do, but I wanted to show you the effect. Now here, as you can see, I had white and purple and I'll do it again there in order to tell if the floor is level or not you change the color and you put them um, so that they're glitching like that right there and you see that movement and glitch and you know then that it's even if it's like if it's a straight line then it is not even it has to kind of be doing the flickering the glitching the flickering and now we can put up walls again so here again I'm going to put up these barriers, but you know what? Maybe the barrier's not tall enough. So let's put up a fun, sassy pink. And I'm using the thin floor plate just to show you the difference. But I will say in most cases, you probably do want the thicker floor plate like a thick wall. Okay? And you'll have to move that barrier to then place the floor plate. Change your color. up, oh, wrong color. There you go. Change the color. And eventually I will get that barrier down below, that brown barrier. Let's put up a window, right? I mean, we're doing walls, we're doing walkways, we might as well do some windows. Here are some hearts, and you just move them and shake them and put them together, and you have a really beautiful design. You can do whatever you like there. Um, that's just a quick little bonus hack for you, right? So now let's move and put a ceiling on, and we'll create yet another we'll get, um, sort of hack for you, a roof, right? You just put up the barrier up above and twist that barrier and get it so that it's flush and against the wall. Anytime you're building against the wall, it's much easier. Now, this is something I personally love having. This is my cute little sleeping bags on the ceiling because I love the little star look. And what you do is just cover that gray part, right? That is something awesome about building an Adopt Me. The overlay is really fantastic so that you can make so many unique creations. Let's make this a cute little area here with, um, how about a nice little spring setting with some tea, right? Since I'm always posting about the tea, guys, let's put some tea here. And I will say this is not going to be my tea room, but I do need to make one. And it is pretty cute, right? Uh, now let me show you what we've done today, right, guys? We have the simple locker stairs. We talked about how to build walls. We've talked about the windows, the heart windows that you can put on as a decorative piece, and you can even create designs with them. And then we have the whole room that you can create on multiple levels. You can have a walkway that goes across. 
you just have to learn the techniques of how to angle yourself so that you're underneath the flooring, underneath barriers, and you'll find that you'll really get the hang of it. Well, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And remember, never trade a friend.